Hi guys, welcome back to another video of HV channel. So today we will be discussing about cyanide poisoning in ruminants. So cyanide poisoning in ruminants is very common in case of Kerala. So whenever we have got a differential about cyanosis or cyanide poisoning, we have to really go for some diagnostic tools. So if you haven't subscribed this channel yet, feel free to subscribe and hit the bell icon for more updates. So accidental ingestion of cyanogenic plants or cyanide compounds in excess can lead to cyanide poisoning. So there are many pesticides and insecticides which is having cyanide content and also many plant metabolites which will be producing free cyanic acids that will be having cyanogenic effects in the body. So whenever an animal is or animal has ingested accidentally excess amount of this cyanogenic plants or cyanogenic contents that will lead to cyanide poisoning. So increased Roman pH that is basic pH will increase the absorption of the toxin. So whenever there is alkalosis or metabolic alkalosis or increased very much increased Roman pH that will lead to increased absorption of the toxin. So the main sources for cyanide poisoning are Sudan grass, sorghum, Johnson grass, turnip, cabbage, apricot, arrowgrass, wild black cherry, chalk cherry, sugarcane top or leaves or tapioca. So these are the main sources. So you can see rubber leaves, tapioca leaves, tapioca peel or tapioca. And other sources are young and immature plants, plants growing rapidly after a drought. Frost bitten plants are more toxic actually. Linseed meal and cake if eaten in large quantities are highly toxic. So you can see linseed, tapioca, sugar cane and also the rubber leaves, tapioca leaves and tapioca peel etc. Sorghum and maize. Susceptible host. So ruminants are highly susceptible whereas holes and pigs and dogs are less susceptible where dog is the least susceptible. So ruminants they will be having much higher clinical symptoms and clinical signs and if not treated properly that can lead to death. So the clinical signs which will be shown by the animal is actually brick red mucous membrane will be there and due to the pulmonary edema and the pulmonary abnormalities there will be dyspnea and due to the cessation of rumination there will be blot and due to the CNS affection there will be muscle tremors and paralysis of muscles. The pupil will be dilated that is metriasis and there will be involuntary rapid movement of the eyes that is nystagmus and also there will be episodes of convulsions. So the toxicity can be reduced by doing some procedures with the plants that is drying, haymaking, chilling or freezing. So moving to the pathogenesis which is the most important part in case of cyanide poisoning. Actually through the ingestion of cyanogenic glycosides there will be release of free hydrocyanic acid that is HCN in the rumen by the rumen microbes. The rumen microbes will act on the plants and they will release HCN. HCN will react with the Fe3 plus that is the iron oxidized form of iron with of the cytochrome oxidase enzyme. So cyanide cytochrome oxidase complex will be there that is Cn minus ion will react with cytochrome oxidase to form cyanide cytochrome oxidase complex. This will impair the respiratory electron transport chain that is electron transport chain ETC cycle will be impaired. That will affect the tissue level exchange of oxygen. So the electron transport chain will not function properly that will lead to the tissue level exchange of oxygen problems. That will lead to histotoxic anoxia that is toxic with the histocytes that is cell or the tissues that will lead to the anoxia condition. So histotoxic anoxia is very much important uh, when we want to go for any multiple choice question examinations or even in the ICR examinations histotoxic anoxia is actually a very important feature of cyanide poisoning that will lead to death.
So pathogenesis as oxygen retained in the blood, it remains bright red in color due to the accumulation of oxyhemoglobin. That is why the brick red color of mucous membrane is there. So central nervous system is mostly sensitive for anoxia leading to cerebral anoxia and death. So there is histotoxic anoxia that will lead to cerebral anoxia. So post-mortem findings is mainly bright red blood that is due to problems associated with the cytochrome and impaired oxygenation. Hemorrhage in the heart, mucous membrane is cyanotic that is end stage. Rumen may be distended with gas that is due to the cessation of rumination and bloat will be there in the order of bitter almond. Bitter almond is very important feature in case of post-mortem finding in case of cyanide poisoning. Growth in the tracheal surface of the trachea and lungs may be congested. Congestion with hemorrhages in the liver and also degradation and degeneration and necrosis in the CNS. So moving to the diagnosis part, you can go for tentative diagnosis. That is actually based on the clinical science and history. So history of the feeding or history of the pesticides used or the pasture history and all. Or with the clinical science, some surgeons can get into a better diagnosis by their experience with the clinical science and history itself. So next is actually a test that is picric acid paper test or MRC test. So the material, uh, suspected plant material or rumen liquor is placed in a test tube containing a little water and few drops of chloroform and heated very gently in the presence of sodium picrate paper. A rapid change in the color of the reagent paper from yellow to red indicates the presence of free hydrocyanic acid that means but all the color of the reagent is turning from yellow to red that indicates presence of cyanogens. So the treatment is actually universal adsorbent charcoal or cobalt only can be given because uh, it will be antagonizing the cyanide. IV injection of the mixture of sodium nitrate and sodium thiosulfate is actually the antidote. The dosages are given as there. 30 gram per orally cow of sodium thiosulfate can be given to detoxify cyanides in the rumen. So trivivetem or hydroxycobalamin can also be given. So the mechanism of action you can see sodium nitrite will combine with hemoglobin to form methemoglobin and competes with cyanide complex cytochrome oxidase to form cyan methemoglobin with cyanide. Then cyan methemoglobin will be detoxified by the second compound that is sodium thiosulfate by forming the non-toxic thiocyanate. Thank you.